in November 2010, Nintendo launched the Wii, a motion-based gaming system giving people a new way to play games from sports to party games for better or worse. In 2009, Just Dance the Game, not to be confused with the song of the same name by Lady Gaga, was made and published by Ubisoft. Instead of using a pad like DDR, players used the Wii mode to copy the move. What I find funny is that a year before, Rayman Raving Rabbit TV Party, another game from Ubisoft, had a dead mini game very similar to Just Dance. Which I guess we can call it Beta Just Dance? Just Dance gameplay is easy. Copy your coach to the best of your ability and earn points. You don't have to aim for 5 stars or higher or whatever the case. The game is more about having a fun time. Getting 5 stars is for people like me who want it. Due to the popularity of the theory and motion control, other people wanted a piece of that pie by making their own dancing game. Some games like Dance Central, which is a different take on dancing, are ones I can recommend. But a good amount of them are boring and poor quality games like Country Dance and Let Dance. Not to be confused with the song of the same name by David Bowie. From 2009 to now, Just Dance had a new game every year. During that time, mostly in the earlier years, other Just Dance spin-offs like Michael Jackson, ABBA, Yokai Watch, and Japan, just to name a few, were happening at the same time. And I don't know how they pulled that off. Like other music games, some of the lighted music have edited words or used cover version. I'm not going to even try to explain Ubisoft or just that censorship. Cover music is something I can understand and don't have a problem with in most cases. I cannot give the right answer for why music games use cover version. Maybe they wanted to save money or something in the legal area, which is something I'm not an expert in. Britney Spears is the artist that first come to mind. All I know is that in the earlier game, all music from the artist are all covered. By the way, who let the dog out? I like to move it. You can't touch this and jump in a line in their original game, you the real artist. But what later replayed in Just Dance Free at add downloadable content and future games for some unknown reason. Most of the games have a 40 plus music lit with unlockable map and extra. Older games have or did have downloadable content. Newer games have online and just that unlimited. More on that later. I'm not going over every song and map for each game. But I will briefly talk about how I feel about each game music lit and map just that one mostly had music from the 80s and the 90s but with new or recent music at the time like hot and cold. Just that 2 on the other hand is a good balance between the new and the old with better choreography that reflects more in the retro area. 3 is more diverse with the lid, but mostly focused 
on the normal new and old popular music. We have music from different places around the world like Japan and Jamaica and the choreography reflects each map as well. Four had more newer music at the time but had some good old music as well. The map and four have a lot more movement than previous games. 2014 had much more newer music than older one, which I don't have a problem with because I like the overall music list and map. Alright, on to the game. First up, we have Just Dance 1. And it really is the first game. You can really tell by the look. And yet, I know every game theory need to start somewhere. The graphics are not great. Just that one did not have a high budget. The coaches have this odd shadow behind them. It's not annoying, but it's something I cannot help but to point out. The coach for Surfing Bird is the worst out of all of them. I mean, just look at him. I know it's the Wii, but come on. As I said earlier, the gameplay is easy to understand. However, just that one is a little different and worse than all of the games. My biggest problem with the game is the scoring system and motion tracking. The motion tracking is hard to explain. But trust me, it does a poor job in detecting movement. The point scoring used are great, okay, and mid. A lot of times I would get them mitted because of their poor motion tracking and no, it's not me, I do the moves right. A scoring mechanic called On Fire is started by getting one great causing your bar to become on fire and allowing you to earn more points until you get one okay or mid. This is the only game in the theory that doesn't have gold moves and the only game to use the shake mechanic where you shake the Wiimote for a short period to fill a meter for points. There are other modes but I don't want to play these modes with dead poor motion tracking. Going back to Just Dance 1 is not the best time. The first game did not do well in critic reviews but did well enough for a much better sequel the next year. The point scoring is more familiar to the newer game minus the super rating. The motion tracking is 10 times better, not perfect, but better. The game used the 5 star ranking and the on fire mechanic is better. By getting a lot of perfect and good timing, your ring will catch on fire giving you more points. But if you keep getting okay or mid the move, the fire will decrease. The shape mechanic is gone, but the gold move is the replacement for it. If done right, the gold move gives players more points than normal. Just that too is the first game where all the coaches' right hands are colored where the player holds the Wii mode. New to the game are duet, alternative, melody, party mode, and downloadable content. This is the first game where the rabbit from Rayman make an appearance. Duet are choreoed with two coaches. However, you can't pick which one to follow. Player 1 and 3 had the one on the left. Player 2 and 4 had the one on the right. Alternatives are the same song, but with a different choreo. All three are for When I Grow Up, made by content winners. Melody, a mode I can't believe I found out until now, 
add a player then to different map. You start on one map and move on to the next one in about 20 or 30 seconds. At the end, you have played five small parts of different map. Party mode has different modes from normal gameplay, melody, diamond dead, and raid. Diamond dead being the worst and the weirdest, had the player do the normal choreo, but had to stop and play, clap their hand in a rhythm, or spin around when the game tells you. And raid mode is to see who can reach 4,000 points before anyone else. Summer Party is a bad title. Europe had a better and more accurate title. Only one map had anything to do with the summer. Because I'm pretty sure it does not snow in the summer. Both of the downloadable content from Just Dance 2 is here, minus for map. The game itself is more Just Dance 2, and I can recommend it because you can't buy any of the content from the game anymore. New to the game are Mashup, Unlockable, Hold My Hand Choreo, and Corlette. The Wii version of the game had the map Just Mario as downloadable content. Unlocking content is annoying to do alone unless you use multiple Wii modes. I wouldn't know anything about that. This game had only one extreme. And you have to unlock it by using a code. This is the first one ever, and I still don't like it. There are two hold my hand routines. The choreo had two people holding hands using one Wii mode, but if you're like me, you play these alone. Correlate mount our choreo with four people, with the option to pick your coach in Correlate. And now in duet as well. Mashup take coaches from different maps and put them into one routine. All of the coaches are from Just Dance 2 and 3, and only one from Just Dance 1. Some gold moves are in I played it for Mashup, and I don't know why. The Wii and PS3 version are the same running at the normal frame rate. The Kinect version, however, runs at 30 frames. Unlike the Wii and PS3 only tracking the right hand, the Kinect uses the whole body and you get points for doing everything. The Kinect version had a difficulty option or pick to use your full body or your upper body only this was a smart idea because not everyone had the room for the Kinect, which is the biggest problem with the Kinect in general. Just Create Mode is only for the Kinect version, and the name tells you what the mode is about. Just Dance 3 is one of my favorite games, and is the reason why I'm into the theory in the first place. Now, for the most pointless game. Graded hit takes the map from Just Dead 1 and 2 with a few from 3 and put them into one game. Using the Just Dead 3 menu and Gory system. There is no point for the game unless it's the Kinect version because 1 and 2 were we only. While better than Just Dead 1 in gameplay, I still find Graded Hit to be a pointless game. Maybe get it for the downloadable content that is no longer an option.
if I could recommend which version of Just Dance 4, it had to be the Wii U. The Wii U version had the most content, more mashup you cannot get on other platforms. Domino, Ain't No Other Man, and Want You Back are added to the music list, and a new mode, Puppet Master Mode, called Party Master Mode later on. The mode had one player use the gamepad to pick what move all the players will do next. Each option on the gamepad had you pick between coaches from Just Dance 1 to 4. Moving on, new to 4 is Battle Mode and Sweat Mode that has its own workout program. Just Dance 4 is the first game to use choreo with an object like a katana and umbrella, and the line dance choreo. From this game and onward, the on fire mechanic is gone. Battle mode is a mashup between two different songs. Think of them as duet, but as a dance off. Do better against the other player to make them lose health, and the music will be based on the winner of each round. I don't like battle mode. It might have something to do with the choreo. Wet mode in 4 is a workout style program with 5 different classes. You start with a warm up, move on to a normal solo routine, move on to a short workout routine, and so on until you reach the cooldown. Depending on how much energy you're doing around the end, the game will give you an intent or cool routine. Unfortunately, you have no real option for the program. I wish I could do nothing but the workout routine and not the normal map. Or let me pick what map I want. New to the game are on stage choreo or trio choreo and online. 2014 is the first game to use chair, sumo, and charleston version. Finally, the song Just Dance is now here and it took five main games and the first game to start using music from Disney. With Prince Ali being the first one ever, battle mode is back, better, and shorter. And I still don't like the mode. Party Master is the same as before, but with the ability to pick a different song. The Sweat program does not make a return and the mode is back to normal. But we do have different workout routines in the form of maps. On stage, it choreo with three people. One person is the vocalist, and the other two are backup performers. The sumo version is just weird and cringy. I know it people in fat outfit, but it's not done well or, or try to convince me that it's real, even if I know it's fake. The chair version is a little awkward to me, because of all the different ways you have to move the chair and the choreo with the chair. 2014 had a lot of content. Most songs have some type of alternative or extra. The game offered one new form of content, Community Remit and VIP. One had players then in video of doing the choreo, hoping for their spot in the video. And the other is some famous person or someone in the Ubisoft community. Both ideas are doing the same choreo as normal. 
but with the community or one person. 2015 is the first game to have a seated choreo, trio or normal map, and the last game to have downloadable content. The worst thing about the game is the music lit and map. For the record, they are not bad. A lot of them bore me. Some of the good highlights are Love Me Again and Bang Bang. From Disney, we have Let It Go, which is something you either love, hate, or in the middle. With odd ones like 4x4 and What Does the Fox Say, which I oddly like. No, I'm not a furry, and no, liking it does not make me a furry. Tetris had to be the oddest one in the game. You know, Tetris, the popular Game Boy game that became a battle royale. And then we have some of the boring ones like Until I Find You and It's My Birthday that really takes me out from playing this version. The music lit here is better than the previous game, but it's not diverse. I know the series heavily favored pop music, but this version had too much of it. Some of the highlights are Hatsune Miku and no more cover version for Britney Spears music until 2021. Two odd ones like Hit the Road Jack and Chihuahua. An annoying map like uh, Angry Bird. You know, the popular mobile game that had two movies based on the game. Anyone? We have Under the Sea from The Little Mermaid and something else from Disney from the show Fioletta. I have no knowledge of it because I'm not the target audience for it and it never aired in America. New to the game are Dank Quest, World Video Challenge, the phone app, co-op mode, and just Dance Unlimited. Dance Quest had a player outstanding AI player in free map and trying to aim for top three, or in my case, first place. World Video Challenge is a one-on-one -on -one score battle against another player. Co-op is a mode that requires more than one player to get all the gems. By working together, you and your team need to do well enough to earn points for the 10 gems. You can now use your phone as a controller, but be careful with the phone. Download the free app, connect to the internet on the phone, and you're good to go. Twenty seventeen was released on the Wii, Wii U, Nintendo Switch, Free Fifty, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, and PC by Windows and Mac OS. Oh my God! The game had everything from the previous game, minus Party Master mode. And with a better and diverse music list. New to the game are Superstar Ranking, which is a score of 11,000 plus points, and Just Dance Machine. The music for Ghost in the Keys reminds me of the Knuckles music, mostly Pumpkin Hill from Sonic Adventure 2, 
And you can't tell me otherwise. We have the first extreme Corlette map with the thong worth it. The earphone version for Cape Body Ocean reminds me of the Hold My Hand choreo. There aren't really that many bad or annoying maps this time around. In Just Dance Machine, aliens need power for their ship and they use that energy because it's the most effective way to power the ship. You will be playing a random set of five different styles from the normal to the odd. Each move you do right gives them power, and you need to give them enough of it to complete the mode. Out of all the version, I recommend the Switch one because of the extra content. You have the map Just Mario, an updated version from Free and Naughty Girl Alternative using Rabbit Peach from Mario Plus Rabbit as a coach. Please don't ask me any questions about this. Double Rumble map used both the left and right Joy-Con taking advantage of the rumble in the Joy-Con. Each map is themed around something like cooking and black magic. 2018 lost a lot of mode and content, but at least the game reused a mode from the game before. And the game does something new, like with the kid mode, super scoring, and mega star ranking, which is a score of 12,000 plus points. Dance Lab is the same as Just Dance Machine, but it a bit different. No alien plot, you have a score at the end of the episode, and each episode is not a random set unless you play the crazy one. Kid Mode has the same gameplay as the normal game, but made for a younger audience. With maps like Beep Beep, I'm a Sheep, I'm Blue, and How Far I'll Go from Moana being a part of the main tracklet along with Bad Liar and Bubble Pop. As for the tracklet and map for this game, they're okay. I don't have anything to say about them, good or bad. I hope you like the music lit and math for 2019 because that is the only thing the game had to offer. I don't have a problem with the music lit in 2019. There are only a few I didn't like. Some of the highlights are Un Poco Loco from Coco, Toy, and Me Me Me. By the way, I love the claymation for the classic map. The oddest map in the game is Pac-Man. You know the popular arcade game where you eat dot and avoid the gold? Anyone? Um, oh. It had a cartoon in the 80s and a crappy one in the 2010 with two mediocre games based on it. Anyone? Hmm. Uh, oh. It has free 3D games from the 90 to the 2000 and a battle royale game based around the classic gameplay. Anyone? Anyone? Please know what I'm talking about. I guess I should talk about Road Dance Floor. The mode has been the same for a while, but with a few updates. You have the normal free-for-all, player being divided into two teams, everyone fighting a bot together, and a tournament from time to time.
Good Dead 2020 is the same game as 2019, but with a new mode. All-Star Mode is a very basic mode to celebrate 10 years of the series. In this mode, the panda is going around and meeting coaches. You play a map from each game of the past. All leading up to the map and song High Hope, which is a very fun map. However, the map is missing coaches from the other map you play in the campaign. As for the track list, it's okay. We have some good ones like Old Town Road and Into the Unknown from Frozen 2. Two questionable ones like Inferno Gallop and Baby Shark. I can't be mad at this because it's for children and the game had a mode aimed for them as well. However, the track would offer the worst map in a game ever. Givity. Or however you pronounce it. I understand it's a joke and all, but wow, did it downright bad. I don't know about this one. The game is the same, but with no all-star mode. The overall game is middle of the road with some highlights like Without Me, You Got a Friend in Me from Toy Story, and Ice Cream. However, the worst thing about this version are the details in the map. They look cheap or low quality. For example, the outfit on the coaches for Don't Start Now and Run Away, or the background for Get Get Down and Rare. I can understand if it was a choice to make the background odd or different in a creative way, like in The Weeknd, Uno, or the Cat Map. I don't know about the development of this version. And I don't know anyone that worked at Ubisoft. If I did, I would be very worried about them. Not to mention, the game was made around the same time the work of that you know what fire it that had an effect on everyone and game development. The only new mode is Quick Play, where the game had a preset of random map for you. I use the normal mode, so this mode is worth it to me. In 2021, the online mode is a bit different. Players are grouped based on free levels. The mode only has a tournament option. Play free map and try to come in first. This is the reason why I stopped playing the online mode. I need different options to keep the mode fun for me. Let's start with the bad. The game had no new mode. The online mode only had tournament. Some math from the main track would require an internet connection. And the game had the same menu for the fourth time in a row. However, the map and their quality are a step up from a lot of previous games. A lot better than 2021. Most of the map like Last Friday Night and Human are given a great flair, detailed, and camera angled with great background and choreo to match. Even the map Shotgun Run is fun to play. At least to me that is. There is much to like about the map this time around. I love the map Mr. Blue Sky and Chandelier because of the animation work. Or Todrick Hall being a coach in both maps for Nailed Hair Hip Healed, I wish the Fated were better because they are very unfinished.
I know motion tracking isn't perfect or does the job right in every game. And just that it's no different no matter what system you play it on. Every platform the game is on has a way to play. You have the Wiimote, Joy-Con, PlayStation Move, PlayStation 4 Camera, both versions of the Kinect and the phone app. PS4 Camera and Kinect track the whole body, while the other option only score move based on the right hand. Some have fared better with the camera option. I find the PS5 and the new Xbox system versions are pointless. Your only option is to use the phone. For some odd reason, the PS5 camera is not used for the game, and you can't use the PlayStation Move or the PS4 camera for the PS5 version of the game. If you have a PS5, buy the PS4 version. The Kinect is not backward compatible with the newest Xbox system. Microsoft left the Kinect behind and I can't blame them. My biggest problem with Just Dance is that there is a new game every single year. Because of this, I feel like the game doesn't have anything new or important to offer anymore. 2015 bored me and 2018 lost a lot of mode and content I like. But at least the game did something new or had different types of content. But now, the game has been nothing but a new tracklet only offering the normal mode, online, and unlimited. Older games in the series have more content in terms of game mode and extra. I have no idea why, but it's starting to make me care less about every new run-of-the-mill game. No matter how good the map or tracklet are, I would want the Just Dance team to take a break for one year and do something different or new for the series. Maybe a spin-off or maybe some Just Dance genre version with the track would be nothing but Latin or K-pop music. If you want more out of the newer games, your only option is If you don't know what Unlimited is, it's a paid service allowing you to play maps from previous games and more. Maps are updated in terms of visual scoring, motion tracking, and ranking. It made older maps like the one in the first game better to play. Adding on to that, new original maps only found in Unlimited are a part of it. When Unlimited first Started, it only had 150 maps, but now it had over 700 plus maps. As someone who doesn't like to be nickeled and dimed, games as a service or live service or whatever they want to call it, I use and like the unlimited content and I can recommend it to people. However, I need to tell you what may be a problem. If you're not sure about buying Unlimited, you are offered a free month for every new copy. But you need to make a Ubisoft account that doesn't cost anything. You need to have a good internet connection to use Unlimited. If your connection is poor, you will have loading problems during the gameplay. Motion tracking is a problem in the map. However, maybe 5% of the map in Unlimited have that problem. I know the game is more about having fun, but it's annoying for someone like me who like getting Megastar. I don't have to, but I want to. And lad, you have to buy the newest game to get more Unlimited map and update. 
every time a new game comes out, older games stop getting new unlimited content. Meaning, if anyone wants to have more content, you are forced to buy another game every single year. And there is no reason for them to do that. And I don't understand why this is a thing. I can understand not putting the new tracklet in a limited for the older game because they want people to buy the newest game and get money for the next release. But why the other stuff? Going back to the first to what we have now is both great and disappointing. The theory is better in map quality and visual, but at lost mode and content along the way. I wish the game would come out every two years, or make one and keep adding to it. So there is more to each game other than a new tracklet every year. Because if Just Dance continued to release every year, this franchise could end up like other similar games or really start annoying people. It wouldn't be a problem if there were other new dancing games on the market, but this is the only one. We have new music games, but not dancing ones. Even back in the earlier days, a lot of other dancing games were published by Ubisoft. As for the Net Just Dance game, it whatever for me. Whatever music it added to the game will be okay. I hope. Just Dance has made me an open minded person when it comes to choreo and music, and is the reason why I like dancing. In video game form, of course. I look forward to a new set of math for every game. However, don't give a gibbity 2.0.